Hi everybody, now I know I've done quite a few of these videos about the controls on the Steam Deck, but I also wanted to do one that basically turns your Steam Deck um, controls into Xbox controls. So I'm going to show you how to make your Steam Deck think that its attached controls are just an Xbox controller. And I'm also going to show you how to change kind of the default control so that you can, even if you're not plugged into a keyboard and mouse, you're kind of using keyboard and mouse controls. Um, now this is Armoury Forger. It does actually have uh, a good, uh, an okay system for controlling on controller, even though it really is a, a keyboard and mouse game. They're, they're moving forward in, in, in jumps and bounds, but it's a good example because I can kind of show you how to do stuff. So if we want to change the con controller config, if we press the Steam button, I know it's quite difficult to see on this video, in the bottom left hand corner, and then you'll be in this kind of menu and you go to the game menu, and then go to controller settings, and then go into the controller settings there. You'll start off over here, so it'll say recommended, and it'll have the recommended setting. Now, these, especially on older games that were released before the Steam Deck um, came out, will be wrong, or they'll be bad, or the on-screen tooltips, or the icons for the buttons will be wrong. And that is because often the recommended one wasn't designed for the Steam Deck, but was designed for the Steam Controller, which is um, a device that you, you can't buy new anymore off, off uh, Valve or, or Steam. Um, it's very interesting. Basically, it was like a, imagine an Xbox controller, but instead of having thumbsticks, it had, a, had uh, the trackpads at either side. So it was an important step towards the Steam Deck, but that's why often they're wrong. And so what you want to do is if you're ever in that situation, you think, look, please, Steam Deck, just imagine you're an Xbox controller, please. All you need to do is go to Templates and then go to Gamepad with Joystick Trackpad. Often it's down a little bit. And that basically says uh, it has all the same settings as an Xbox controller. And in fact, if you look down, you see they don't even bind R4 and R5. The buttons are on the back of your Steam Deck, which is um, really good. Now, the trackpad will still work. So if we press X to apply this layout, and then we jump in, I can still use the trackpad to move about. The problem is I'm an inverted axis type of guy, so that doesn't really work for me. And so nine times out of ten, at ten in a game that will sort things out because it's because it makes the Steam Deck act as though it's just a simple, nice Xbox One controller, which is you know what what we want most of the time. Now, of course, you could press the Steam button, go into controller settings, and you could edit the layout and change those settings around if some of the buttons you're not quite sure about. Um, so you know you can still do that. Now, the other thing you might want to do is particularly, in fact, if we come out of here, if we save and return to the menu, if you're um, doing something where uh, a mouse and keyboard option uh, would be better than using your D-pad, I'll show you to do that. So, for example, in this case, if I go into like the workshop here, there's lots of little items all around. And to be honest, it's a bit of a pain going around with a D-pad. Um, and when I move my thumb around on the trackpad, the mouse doesn't come up. On some games, when you start using the trackpad, the mouse pointer will appear. Also, if you, I were to simply plug this in, my Steam Deck into my dock and it had a uh, keyboard and mouse connected to the dock or a wireless keyboard and mouse connected to the dock or a connected a wireless keyboard and mouse to my Steam Deck, as soon as you start using that, most games will then automatically recognise you're using a mouse and it'll work. But lots of them, when they think that your Steam Deck, well, when you're just using the controls or you've set it up so it thinks it's like an Xbox controller, they won't do that. So what we need to do is we go into Steam, we go into the, the, the controller settings again, but the template we want to look out for in the templates is mouse uh, only. So if we select that one and we apply the layout and come to that, whoop, now you see I've got my mouse up and then you use your, your, your right and left trigger. So right trigger is left mouse and left trigger is right mouse. So now you can see it's much easier for me to, to select things and, and have a look at them. I didn't mean to do that. Let's stop that. Cancel download, yes please. <laughs> um, let's have a look, let's go into my mod manager. So it's much easier to do stuff. This doesn't always work great in game though, um, doing it like this, because obviously you've got no WASD to move around. What you can do is you can try using one of the other templates, which is 
Uh, which one is it? Keyboard WASD and mouse. So you could try using that one. The problem with that one is that it only really works on very simple games. Something like Reforger that has lots and lots of different button combinations and bindings. It doesn't really work. You're much, much better going back to um, gamepad with joystick trackpad and that will work uh, great. So for example, what you might want to do is when you're doing all your, your finicky menu stuff, you can use you can kind of use your mouse and then you just go Steam, Controller Settings, Template, Recommended Template. In this case, they've got it right. Or we could go into the templates and choose the right one. X to apply it. Um, go back into the game. And now I'm using my D-pad. And obviously that will mean I can use my joypad in game. So there we go. So that's how you kind of make your Steam Deck think it's an Xbox controller. Um, and also how you can kind of, almost like you're, like you're disengaging the controls so that it goes to like a mouse and keyboard setup so hopefully that's been useful <laughs> sorry if i've made too many of these controller um, videos um, because i know i've made quite a few now but i think it's really important because it can be a bit frustrating when you've got this amazing device which is console like and yet you go into games and the, the controls are almost there but they're not quite so there we go. Put your questions and comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.